Hello and welcome back to another phenomenal episode of The Never Games. This week, we don't have any look back games for you. We're just wrapping up Never Games Plays Pathfinder 2nd Edition. We've got a great episode for you. It'll be the culmination of this Pathfinder scenario that we've been running that I have kept the um, the title of hidden from you because I didn't want you guys to know. But the title of this <laughs> is Revolution on the Riverside. Um, if you've Ooh. been enjoying these Pathfinder episodes with us, you can find out more about Pathfinder at paizo.com. Can you, you can, can you spell that, Tom? Uh, that is P-I-A-Z-O. It's, uh, it's a really great system. I've been playing their first edition for years. Second edition came out a few years ago, and I've been having a blast exploring it with you guys. All of the content of this adventure, minus an old man at a bar, uh, is copyright <laughs> Paizo. They do great work. And if you're, you're looking for more of this, you can find us on social media at the underscore never underscore games, or get any of this information on our website at thenevergames.com. So that old man, you're, you're kidding me, right? That old man wasn't even supposed to be a part of the game? No. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. It's the joys of being the, the GM is that I get to make up shit. Should we illuminate <laughs> the, uh, the listeners as to where we are in the story? Did we make it out of the bar? Uh, it, you do that, Noel. Wait, should, shouldn't you be doing this, Tom? Because, like, all the other you ones are have the been narrator. like, When last we yeah. left our heroes. No, I'm making you do it this time. When last we left our heroes. <laughs> uh, we, we done been talking to, to King Adrid, and uh, we, we, we done been gone and warned him uh, that there is a plot against his life. Uh, we convinced him not to pull all of his guards so that the firebrands do not become wise to our tricks. And now we need to go to Nala and the Firebrands and Chops. And yeah, is that about sum it up? Yeah. I mean, we are yeah, still so. in the in the palace, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We okay. haven't actually left yet. Do um, we think that there's a way that we could convince the king to let us take a couple guards with us, just in case? Nah, we don't need it. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> just see how it goes. We're going back. <laughs> Maybe. That's the that's the beauty of a limited run adventure. <laughs> when Is you die, you could be a new person next time. Yep. <laughs> so okay, here's here's my thought process going into this. I think that right. we act as if we're on board. We go and we double check that we're not outnumbered by like eight to one. If we get the sense that we can fight them off. We just do that, or I guess. So if we if we show up and it is an insurmountable group of people, then we just like we nod and say yes to everything, and then we go to the king and be like, uh, "Yeah, we couldn't do this on our own." So I agree. Pull the guards I mean, in. we're pretty much on good terms with both of these sides as of now. Correct? Are we yeah. not going to make an attempt to try to just convince them not to do it? Uh, so that's my I... other thing is that if we if we think it's possible that we could win in a fight, then I think we go in with the the idea of like I, saying I am better at action than 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 words right now. Um, well, how many I, basketballs do you have on you? Uh, <laughs> Thirty three. Um, but now. Um, <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, all of my um my skills. I should have dropped are... my short short sword a little while ago so I could carry more basketballs. Yeah, I wanna I <laughs> so... want you to show me how you carry thirty three basketballs, Noel. Like I said, uninflated. <laughs> and then I and then I and then I have the uh the, the needle nose the needle. inflatal inflator, yeah. Okay, so um, it takes hilarious. roughly ten rounds to inflate a basketball. What <laughs> oh no, you 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 have the old inflator. I, I got I got this I got this good. All right, let's 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 yeah. get over to the waterworks and see what we're dealing with. Yeah, let's because I all my skills are angled more towards action than uh, yeah. uh you know diplomacy. I uh, I guess yeah. I mean I've got some pretty high deception, intimidation, and performance, but my dexterity I have is also like very high performance. 
uh, very high acrobatics and very high occultism. If 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 we need that. So I think we tried to be diplomatic, and uh, Short Mort can handle that one because he's definitely yeah. the best out of all of us on that front. And then I can try intimidation. If if they go into into the the waterworks, is there a, a higher spot to sort of just do some reconnaissance? We probably won't know till we get there. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get there first. All right, well, let's get there. I think the plan is we arrive, we eyeball the numbers, and right. What what number do we want to set as the the max that we will fight? Well, we know that it's twenty to a thousand people. <laughs> I say if it's less than twenty three. <laughs> Like then we're good. <laughs> then we're then we're also, all right. Also, to be completely clear, we don't even know that there's twenty because we said, "Are there 20? <laughs> and he was like, "Probably." <laughs> and then he then we asked if there were a thousand, and then he said, "Less than that. Pro pro less yeah. than." Yeah. Anyway, let's 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 get there. And Plus, see they might yeah. not all be there. And, yeah. But again, <laughs> what what number? Because we're gonna have to like walk in here and be on the same page. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to. No, 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 we'll no. talk about it. We'll figure it out. I don't want I don't to choose a number. So. Let's just see what I, it is. I, we don't. We don't have <laughs> to be ready right as we walk in because they still like us. So we can we can kind of figure some stuff out if we want to leave. But I think they'll let us leave, and then we can come back with unless, reinforcements. I think that if if we go in and we're like, "Hey, you should not kill the king," then they might be like, "You're traitors." We're well then, let's you. not say that. That's all we have to do to avoid that is we not won't say directly that. Into it. We, gotta, we just we have wait. to observe. We gotta, can we just go and we'll see? Yeah, Trevor. For the love of God, <laughs> don't say anything. We just. I'm the one. We just said I'm the one that's going to do the talking. <laughs> don't. If we if we, we just that. have to look at look at stuff and observe. Let's get there. All right. All right. The first conversation that happens is going to just be us being like, "Hey." And they're gonna be like, "Hey, it's you guys." Yeah, this is me, so, Tall Paul, the most intelligible person on the squad. <laughs> Please okay, so don't do this. <laughs> okay, we'll send Tall Paul in. <laughs> oh God! No, 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 everyone goes in. <laughs> we just observe and we chill. But okay, we're how about this? Them. What about this scenario? No. What about, what about if we go in and they're like, "Yeah, we're right on. We're on our way out. We're going to do it right now." We don't know that until we talk to them. Well, then we'll yeah, see know, how many people there we're are. We're planning for the eventuality. Okay, plan, I would, I would plan think, J. I would, think, I would think based on that, based on that, if they're like, we're going now, we'll see how many people there are. And if there's like a fuck ton, then we'll be like, dude, let us scout ahead. Let's go ahead. And we fucking sprint to the king and be like, give us your guards. And if there's like not that many, then we launch into the other ideas. Honestly, this is a turn-based <laughs> game. We can think of like plans that, on the spot. Right. Correct. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Trevor, right, you right. can gamble as you as you go. <laughs> Do you want to stop at the bar first? <laughs> yeah. I bet. I bet each of you one gold that there is going to be more than eight people. If 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 it if it over under seven and a half. If it makes us go there, then yeah, fuck it. Fine. Yeah, I'll take that bet. Yeah. I if if right, it makes right. us stop all this nonsense, we haven't. <laughs> we've been recording for. What feels like a half hour already, and we haven't. Just we ha we you haven't just answered my anywhere. question, <laughs> rather than fighting about not answering the question. All I wanted to know is what's the number. If it's seven, then we fight them. If it's eight, then we, we have don't. to see what's going on before we can even make that judgment. But it's easier to. We it's, also it's don't better know to go these... in with a plan. I'm going to keep right, riding. Oh, okay, 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 Trevor. Is it is it <laughs> is it seven six year old preschoolers or seven fucking tanks? Like, well, we I don't know what's going about on. to attack the palace, then they're people who know how to fight. It's it, no, because it's not like they they're like teaching preschool and re like revolting against the king. All right, fine. Fuck it. The number is eight. Let's just fucking <laughs> yeah. leave it there and Tom, go. Can, can, we just can go? you mute Trevor for about a minute and a half just so we can get this turn you, off? <laughs> why? Why do you not want to just answer this? Like, this I'm is, trying to. I just did. I just did. I said eight. What if it's eight dragons? We don't fucking know. It's not going to be eight dragons. Then you can change it your mind be... on the fly. Exactly. Right. Let's the just but it's go. Better to go in with a plan. We have a plan. It's going to happen. You okay, had a plan whatever. and you took off your sleeves and now like, you're ready for war. I like that this, the idea that this is a conversation between Tall Paul, Shortport, and Average Mash <laughs> in the throne room. <laughs> the king's just like, oh, God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm regretting this decision. Yeah, I would like to. I would like to turn to the king and give him some more finger guns and say, "Don't worry, buddy. It's gonna turn <laughs> out fine." It. I 100 percent guarantee my sa- or your safety is in See, our hands. Because okay, look. Short Mort as a character is built around like planning things out. That's like what he that's he's a coach. <laughs> he's like, hey, why don't we have a game plan when we go and play? I don't want to like show up to a baseball game. Okay, Trevor, do you have the scouting reports on the Rebel Firebrands? Can, can, okay, no, can you also stop now? Me. That's why we get. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Again. Oh my god. Don't worry, Adrian. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> can we at least just leave the palace? <laughs> I'll say that you guys are having this argument for as the you walk. love of God. <laughs> Why are you so averse averse to making just like the simplest of plans? We because we have the, the plan simplest already. of plans is just going there. We don't have anything else. We need to observe <laughs> and and collect data. Well, yeah, but like if we have to make a decision on the fly, then we'll do that mind. when it happens. Telling you right now, no matter what happens when we get there, I am surprise attacking immediately. Yeah. <laughs> it actually is 40 dragons. And yeah. <laughs> I stab one of them in the throat. See, either 40 dragons or 40 <laughs> preschoolers, but we, we have to make a plan no matter what. Honestly, 40 preschoolers, that'd be tough to face. They got a, they got a lot of teeth. <laughs> you just kick them. They don't. That's... No, it's they're it's all, kids teeth, so out. so so the yeah, okay. All right, we go so <laughs> you uh you you had you, you finally make it to the door that was marked by chops, um, and we're already depleted of all of our energy, and we have yeah. to sleep in another day. <laughs> you uh there there's a waterfall that is coming out of the side of the cliff, um, and a small bridge that goes behind the waterfall to a door. Do we get a map for this also, by the way? I will give it to you in a sec. Yay. And uh, with a with a brass thing that says oh, Waterworks number th- chamber number three on the outside. And uh, yeah, that's that's where you are right now. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open this door. All right, several canals Whoa. meet in this large underground chamber, partially lit with lamps on the walls. Two great water wheels turn under the waterfall that flows on the eastern side of the chamber. Clusters of barrels and crates are set around the chamber. And as you look through here, you can see Chops is uh, on the other side of the room, standing next to a couple of people. There are two men who are standing pretty close to you, and three men that you recognize from being part of Chop's crew on the other side of um, a bridge. You notice two other people. One is a woman with dark skin and dark hair tied and beaded, and the other looks over, and you see in a split second is Harry Gary. No fucking way. (laughs) Also, just want to note, there's eight people in this room, and each of you owe me a gold. (laughs) <laughs> in this room than, you said if it was more than eight i said so. i said the over under to seven and a half <sighs> you're a bitch <laughs> there, there's so there's still different entrances and exits we haven't checked it out yet dude well there's at least eight which and i took the over on seven and a half i would like to uh, uh have they noticed us uh when we he, came in yes as you come in chops goes hi guys over here and, they say, and then I say, how was living in uh, uh, New Zealand and South Africa combined? Pretty good. <laughs> because of your accent. <laughs> okay. Can I do a perception check to see if there's anything that we've missed? Uh, yeah, go ahead. 24. Nice. You Ooh. notice, as you walk in, a near imperceptible crack in the wall here beside these two sets of stairs that you suspect... Uh-huh is a secret door. Oh, man. Even still, that's going to be pretty hard to get to without causing a stir. Um, I'm going to go over there. <laughs> oh, what did I just say, Trevor? We're welcome here. We just got beckoned over Until by we break man. apart their fucking walls. We're not going to... Why would we do that? Uh, <laughs> as, as you walk over, Nala says, Chops, are these the... Uh, the revolutionaries you said were here to join us. And uh, Harry Gary responds with, Revolutionaries? These aren't revolutionaries. These are pe- 
pants shitters. God damn it, Gary. I didn't even ask you a goddamn motherfucking thing. You That happened over 40 years ago, I swear to God. Gary, you motherfucker. You just go, oh my God. That was only tall Paul. Yeah, I would like uh, to say that uh, <laughs> I am not a pants shitter. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, 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 it appears to be completely personal at this point, so yeah. Hey, Harry, Gary, you got any uh, any bananas? I'm God damn hungry. it, Trevor, don't even ask anything about it. <laughs> God damn, Harry, Gary, I swear to God, that motherfucker, he, he didn't even dunk. He laid it up. I'm going to give, like, a playful pat on the shoulder of Harry, Gary. Son of a bitch, Trevor, I, you, you swear to God, <laughs> Trevor, I, God damn, oh my God. I, hey, I, I, uh, Tall Paul, you're being real hostile for people who just welcomed us into their chamber. I, I just yeah, told you know my thing about Harry, Gary. <laughs> he, didn't, uh, he, I, he didn't even lay it up. He just did a diaper shot from, from the three throw line. Look, man, I need and you to calm down or else we're all going to fucking because get killed. What? Because what? He didn't poop himself? <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. I would like to steal <laughs> Tall Paul's ball and throw it across the chamber again. I would, oh! like, I would like Short Mort to make a perception check. 13. Okay. Why did you have him do that? Yeah. I'm not going to tell knows? you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also need Tall Paul to make a perception check. Uh, should I also make a perception check? Sure. 24. <laughs> hey! Paul, you notice something that's weird with Harry Gary's face. Yeah, I bet. It's ugly. That... Oh, I got it. With your... No one else notices it, but you, with your knowledge of occultism... <laughs> are fairly certain that there is some kind of illusion going on. It seems like Harry Gary is wearing a mask that he's made invisible is almost what it looks like. Uh, cool. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I, just looking at, my stats here. I am high in intimidation. Can I do anything with that to reveal any? I'm also you try. high in intimidation. Can can me and Connor be should, twice should as we, intimidating? Should we maybe try talking to these people first? I think. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I think you're right. I'm gonna say uh, yes. Yeah, so we got uh, we got the rundown earlier, but what are the what are the details here? What's what what's the plan? Nala will say. Um, well. Chops has vouched for you, so it's good to have anyone that we can. I uh, I was part of the rebellion that uh, dethroned the steward Waik, and was my goal was to have the people of Artime control their own future. Most of the leaders of the rebellion seemed fine with Edred claiming the throne. They were older and had fond memories for his father's rule. But I, on the other hand, I knew that our people could do so much better. So I put together this group and started to form this this ragtag group we have here to overthrow the new king. And I've gathered some of my closest allies here to strike. Are you willing uh, to help us? Let me ask you before we get to the uh, the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. How how much uh, how much money you got? I don't see how that should matter. What? I'm I'm just I got I got this. I see. I won this Academy Award a while ago, and I'm I'm just looking to get rid of it. Um, I'm just I'm just looking for someone who who wants to take it off my hands. No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no! Hold on, I, I, I roll a uh, confidence check. Are you sure? Are, are you the, sure? Roll, uh, roll deception. You gotta roll it. So that didn't work out. I got a four. Okay. <laughs> she, she looks at you and she says, "I, this is not the time for your swindling and you're trying to sell trinkets." I, I, I back up no. and wave and, and raise my arms and say, Hey, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm gonna say I'm, um, I'm asking I'm asking anyone I meet. It's it's not personal. So Nala, can I ask you like a an actual relevant question? Uh so <laughs> the, the it seems that there's there's uh, eight of you guys in here. Is that is this the group that we're looking at or we got we got some more some more uh backup or anything? Eleven with you. Oh, right. Wait, I just wait, wasn't. Okay, wait, right. Okay, so there is a... So this uh, is the group. Okay. Yes. 
What's Wait. our plan for how do how are we even gonna get the palace? You're you're trying to overrun a palace with eight people? We will strike true and do what needs done. And frankly, I'm not sure I can trust you with our actual plans. I mean, it's it sounds like you just gave away your plan. You don't seem very well prepared. I now is not the time to insult the lady. Oh. I am plenty prepared. I'll have you know. <laughs> oh, okay, Shortmort, you okay, want to uh, okay. use some diplomacy and, and try to try to tall yeah. and uh, Harry Gary is just like these guys are idiots. Oh Kick God damn it, Harry Gary! I swear to fucking God, go in the back of the room right now! I swear to fucking God, super super stupid Harry Gary. Can I take Paul's basketball from him again? <laughs> um, I just you can wanna, try. I, I want to make note. I have thirty-one basketballs left over. <laughs> what was it? Athletics. <laughs> yeah. My athletics is 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 pretty nineteen. High. All right, you take the basketball. And can I, I take it, it across back? the room? Can I take it back from him? I just threw it across the room, my guy. Can no. I? Can I intercept it? You can try. You can try to intercept it. All right. Make a uh, reflex save. What are you doing, Trevor? What's real? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is it a D twenty again? Yeah. D twenty plus reflex. I want to say, what do we what do we do to prove ourselves? Fourteen. That did check out. Yeah. She'll, she'll say, um, speak some vows. Tell me, our our time is short, and I am desperate for additional aid, and I am happy to have you follow along. But to have you know the plan in advance offers weaknesses, and I need to know that you can be trusted. What can you tell me that will let me trust you? Like I said, I have an Academy well, Award. We helped kill uh, kill some some mean nasty spiders with your boy Chops over there a little bit ago. Yeah, but he kind of helped us yeah. more than we helped him, though. Well, we found the spiders, <laughs> and they were they were about to yeah. get killed by him, and didn't even know about it. I have a. Is anyone good at stealth? Uh, I am. That that is my my shit, my guy. All right. So I am curious about that hole in the wall that Tom described earlier. I'm very good at acrobatics and performance, and I can probably distract them if, Connor, if you want to do a stealth check on that wall, is that possible? I don't know if uh, now, now is the time, but I'm just saying, in general. So you could, you could try and distract them while Connor sneaks around and examines it. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be real hard. I was going to say now is not really the time. I, yeah, you do have not. a scroll of darkness, <laughs> don't forget. that. I, I feel like while we're trying to in the process, mid conversation, trying to convince. Right, right, right. I just, I just wanted to throw out that plan what if because you I... did a, a distraction, Noel. You yeah. hit your school of darkness so that they don't see you do it, and then I could sneak over and look. Still, I feel like they'd be really peeved yeah. off after the darkness fact. is like not subtle. I think we have to. Well, no, and then we just come out of the darkness and be like, "Whoa, that was crazy! A power outage. What unless, happened?" Unless. We convince them to raid to storm the castle now. We have this place by ourselves. We don't even need to do any distraction. We could just fucking hammer on that wall until we find whatever goddamn scroll or book or journal or gem is left uh, on the other side of that. <laughs> I also really need to know what's going on with Harry Gary's face. God damn it, Harry! You don't even mention Harry Gary. I swear to you, I swear to you, fucking god, you average match. <laughs> You're not gonna help us at all if you keep doing that every time we say Harry Gary. <laughs> yeah, I am acting like <laughs> like a wrestler. Um, I I want to say, look, we we'd love to prove ourselves to you, but it seems like this raid is imminent. Is this happening today? Yes, just in a few moments. You are oh, lucky to have arrived in time. Oh, beans. What do you what do you got as as far as weapons? Do we is there anything we could upgrade ourselves with? I think that what we have on hand is fairly minimal. Most of my men have short swords. Uh Harry Gary here has but a dagger and his spells. Oh, and I bet and... they're not covered in shit. Right, Harry Gary? Piece of goddamn Shit. <laughs> Stop insulting him. It's it's personal. Uh I would like to say I would like to go to Harry Gary and be like, oh, hey man, I, I'm 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 really I'm really sorry for uh Tall Paul. Uh we're we're really looking to, to help out and I know he's making it a burden. Um honestly I thought it was pretty funny that you made him shit his pants. He ruins while... my career. 
while I'm saying this, I want to like lightly pat him on the face. Like five a, years, like, like a friendly, Minneapolis, a friendly, just Wichita, like, you go, bud. Art, Art, Artemia, <laughs> all three <laughs> cities. I was the champion in. Can I, can I get, yeah, make an acrobatics check. Wait, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. He's, he's going to try and pull away. Fucking Gary. 22. You reach up to pat his face and he doesn't react fast enough and your hand comes across and touches a cold steel something that is several inches away from his cheek. I told you, motherfucker, that guy's a robot, always was, always has been. All right. You now look at my seeing, blog. Now you are you would... seeing this shit? Are you concerned? Are you at all, at all concerned about this? Are you, are you just touching it, or are you trying to pull it away? Or uh, Yeah, at this point, I'm going to grab it. Okay, no, make. Because, no. like, now I want to be like, uh, and I want to be like, Nala, like, this is not, like, clearly some fishy's going on here. And I don't know that we're the people that you're not supposed to trust. As Average Madge goes to uh, touch Harry Gary's face, I just want to let out like a little like, God, you got to like warn people before you go for their faces, man. I was just being friendly. Make another acrobatics check. <laughs> I can do that. So the first one was to touch 15. Harry Gary's face. The second one is to try and pull the mask away as he wriggles, which you succeed at coming Ooh. back with a iron mask in your hand, which becomes visible as long as as soon as it is not on his face anymore. So what's on his face? Like what what what's there after we take everything off? Harry Gary's face. Yeah. <laughs> so now I just have this mask that I'm just yes. holding. Yes, and I want everybody to make a knowledge religion check. Yeah, I was going to say, we trained. have to examine that thing, because there's no way he's not wearing that that doesn't have any sort of buffer on it. Got an 11. I got a 2. <laughs> oh, 7. <laughs> yeah, no, none of you know what this is. Um, but uh, Nala reacts, and she's like, what is happening? What are you doing to my lieutenants? That's your lieutenant? <laughs> is Harry Gary? I just was being friendly, and then I felt a thing, and now I have the thing, and I was just concerned about the thing. I want to say, okay, okay, look, Nala, we're, I'm, I'm sorry about them. Can I, do you mind if we just step outside and talk for a minute? I, I, I want to compose these two. This is, this is. I haven't done anything. Make Connor's a, make the one who fucking gripped check. a guy's face and had his face fall off of his face. I just patted his face and then noticed a the thing. Yeah, you shouldn't pat anyone's face. I like. I got a twelve. Faces. That's bad. Uh, I got a twelve. Yeah, she says, take take your compatriots elsewhere and compose yourselves I before this becomes difficult. Done anything. Let's go. Let's go outside. Outside. That one especially. Oh my ball. god! Except outside, for outside. Let's Harry go. Gary, every time. Come on. We come have on. a history. The billboard outside tells us that. Wait, do and, I uh, still have his mask? He he reaches yeah. to take it from you. I want to like step in the way and be like like shoving them out of the way before he has the chance to. My goal with going outside was getting that away, so we can't just like grab it back. He 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 will say before you leave. I would like my property returned to me. Ew. I'm going to lick it and hand it back to him. No. Jesus. Okay. You grope his face. You lick his mask, Connor. Jesus Wait, Christ. Wait, so should I not give it back to him? No. Okay. How I'm am I supposed to not do that? It's I'm going to send a message to Tall Paul, which that is just you, you receive my mind in your brain. And I go, Tall Paul, freak out on him right now. And I'm going to force us all out before he has a chance to grab this mask back. Freak out on who? On who do you think, Harry? Harry, Gary. Harry who? <laughs> I don't know. T Connor's fucking groping faces and licking masks. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Just before he has a chance to grab this mask back from Average Madge. Just start freaking out and getting mad. Remember how he made you poop your poop your pants? I he made you shit your pants. I, I he made you shit your I, pants. I. I, I uh, the uh, one time the, we're asking you to freak out. Is gone. No, 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 wait. I'm building the scene. <laughs> Harry Gary is trying to reach his hand out to, to grab his mask back. I slap his mask. 
<laughs> Harry Gary, you don't remember what happened in Wichita and then Minneapolis? You actually made Whoa. me poop my pants okay. twice Let's in go. two Let's go. cities. That's fine. That's fine. Come on. I swear to we fucking anybody... God, dude. There's no more We're not getting into a fight here. We're not getting into a fight. We're going to get out of here. We're going outside. We're going to calm down. The poopy banana. The poopy banana. At this point, I think we're both like grabbing him by by each arm and just dragging him out yeah. the door. I need I need Tall Paul to make a performance check. As Nala <laughs> yells, "Get this man out of here now!" Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. I got a nine. Okay. No, don't. That's bad. Why'd you say <laughs> it like that? <laughs> you you get outside. Oh okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. And I still have. And the we mask. still have the mask. Yeah. I, I just wanted potassium, Gary, and you gave me poo-poo. If we put the mask on, if somebody puts the mask on, does it stay invisible? Uh, no, it is, it is visible now. It just turns into Jim Carrey. Okay, I would like to try putting the mask on my face. Wait, wait, okay. can, can any of us examine it first before you even try and do something rash? You could have, but uh, it's now on average Imagine's face. All right. And <laughs> suddenly, nothing happens. Oh, so it's invisible <laughs> on my face. Yes. Now we know what's going on. What's right. our plan? <laughs> I think we. I'm going to throw the mask. When we go back in, I'm going to throw the mask at the wall to break open the wall. You cast darkness, and then we start okay, working about, on killing ooh. these fucks. Wait, wait, wait. We're still, we're still on good terms with these guys. They're about to leave. To, Not really. To, I yeah. mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, they're about to leave. We don't have to go sneaking around. If they're leaving momentarily, just say, "Hey, we're 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 about to, you know, collect our thoughts. We'll catch up with you later, and then we go you figure out what's going on behind." The this other wall. thing, what we could do is we could we could go back. To, we could run like sprint back to the fucking palace, grab some guards, and have some backup and help. Can we outrun them, Tom? I feel like if we just like take off running now, they're gonna come after us. Yeah, there's not a lot we can do right now. In we're this situation. outside. They don't see what's happening. Yeah, I'm gonna do a perception check and see if we're being spied on. Okay. Why they have so much more on their plate than 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 four three jabronis? Oh, God, an eleven. You don't see anyone watching you. Yeah, they're. Okay. How about this? How about we go back in? We go. Okay. We get cool heads, and then Tall Paul, you freak out again. You try and throw something at Harry Gary, but intentionally miss and hit the wall behind him that has that crack in it. Why? Uh, just see what happens. Because I want to break open the wall and see what's going on there. Right, but if we just wait literally a minute, they'll leave. The guards. They're not going to the, just be like, guards, okay, you guys they're not just, just hang leave out us here. There. Well, they're, they were going to invade, invade Art, Artemisia no matter what. Our, our Eritrea? They're no, not that's a invading. Country. They're just killing a person. They're not like in taking just... over. Right, but it's eight people. Right. It might as well be an invasion. <laughs> like, do we... they're not, they're, so they're here's, here's what I think. Much. <laughs> Either we're going to try and fight them right now, or no, we because, have to leave right now. No, because the guards are there. I'm assuming there's so more than eight we guards. We don't even want to bother trying the diplomacy slash intimidation method of just getting them to give up their plan. Yeah, you haven't even really started that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just go in guns a blazing. I think we just well, go for it, see what happens. I don't have any guns. I don't allow gunslingers in my game. Should, could we at least try to just get them to not do it? And then, obviously, from then, we'll, 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 we'll fuck them up. Okay. If, if we're doing that, Or then... we leave. Or we leave and try to get to get some guards to help us before they get there. Does okay, who has the highest stealth? I do. Connor, do you want to stay behind and we'll go with them and then Connor he like crouches down in the corner and then when everyone's gone can hammer that hole in the wall and see what happens. I think they can count to 3. I kind of I feel if... I kind of feel like that door is just going to be how they're going to get into the palace. That's what I'm starting to think. That's the crack. The oh, crack maybe. is the door. Okay. Do we want to okay. fight or do we not want to fight? I think if we're not going to fight, then we have to go back to the castle now. I'm okay with fighting. I have my armors up. My hit points are up. There's also eight of them. <laughs> True. This is going to be a tougher fight than spiders. <laughs> oh, dude. Which you know. Which we did not do well with. And we don't have any allies except for the guards. I have a falcon. 
that. How about this? How about he really only so helps this, us with picking locks, though, right? So far, so right as you get in the front door or like the front of this place, there's those two guys standing there. If we just jump them right away, the other people probably wouldn't be able to get there by the time we killed them. Right, and none of them so have ranged that's... weapons. Except I have a ranged weapon in the form of a falcon. Is that oh, a ranged right. weapon? It flies. I'm, I'm just curious. Is, <laughs> is, does that count as a ranged weapon? Not as such. Yeah, not by the right. rules. But yes, it is a thing that Connor can do without getting close to the... <laughs> right, I can just be like Xerxes, attack. Uh, yeah. All right, here's what I think. I think we go in, we fucking, I can use a sneak attack on one of these dudes that's standing by the door, and I can send Xerxes after Nala. And then Xerxes says... And then you guys can do whatever it is that you're gonna, you know, we, you, can, you can assist in the attack. So, if, we, if we're going in with the plan of just, like, starting a fight, I think we, like, go right in and just quickly get on either side of these two guys that are right inside the door and then but why are we doing that we we could sort of fall back until we hit the city and then there are millions of guards there i thought i thought a second ago that you said you wanted to fight yeah this is your this is your opportunity to get back at harry gary the, i'm just thinking all all tactics the, this is not think personal about, think anymore. about the time that harry harry gary made you poop your pants yeah, he we made, all poop, he made our, you poop your pants. We all poop our pants. No, we all... just you. <laughs> I, yeah, that's not a thing I've done. <laughs> he made you poop your pants. He's in that room right now Tall without balls. his protective mask on. Are you gonna let that, that asshole without his mask, by the way, get away with making you shit your pants? First off, the mask doesn't do anything. It, it probably it does for does him because he's a fucking sorcerer. <laughs> but like, why are we trying to fight this battle that's going to be harder than the spiders? That Two out of the three of us almost died. I actually did die rather than going falling back to get reinforcements, which is an entire city full of guards. He made you poop your pants. I'm fucking I'm going in right now and sneak attack. <laughs> this is I'm, the I'm, dumbest okay, thing. All right. Harry Gary is right in there. How can you? Are you seriously? You, you haven't what, stopped what talking right about now? him. What do you this mean? Is, I want to live. I don't want to die. This is your one shot. How is this wrong? <laughs> I'm going to. I'm honestly. I, I, I just don't even know anymore. How is this wrong? Because it's just boring. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, fine. I'm putting my arm, my I, I, hand <laughs> on top of Paul's shoulder. Uh, probably his elbow. I can't really reach that. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to cast Forbidding War Ward. <laughs> Which gives you a plus one to AC versus an enemy, and that enemy is going to be Harry Fine. Gary. I, I, Go ahead I, and place I, yourselves in the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, well, uh, so my first thing, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this closest dude with a sneak attack at the same time. Hold on. Wait, what? So we're get, I think we go in. I'm going to go over to like here. So I'm on the other side of them. Okay. Tall Paul, you you be right behind me so that you're right next to them as well, and then average Madge. You take a sneak attack, and once that happens, I want to have like I want to have my I think I have a short sword. I want to have that ready to stab him. All right, okay, so I'm hitting so, the closest guy with the sneak attack. So and, what we're gonna yep. do is we're gonna start by rolling initiative. Tell me what you're doing as you walk into the waterworks. We're just walking. Well, we're just walking like we're coming yeah. back. Okay. I am I am hiding the fact that I have my sword pulled out. Okay, I need you to make me then. I feel like you shouldn't have your sword pulled out when you walk in. We should just walk in like we're coming back in. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I'm, I'm trying to find a way to use one of my better skills as my right. Remember, role. you you what you do when you are acting right now is going to be the check you make that will be your initiative score. Okay. So, um, if you are walking in hiding your weapon, I need. Uh, short Mort to make a stealth check. Oh, I was hoping for a deception. Um, what if I'm like, I'll I'll be like looking at it, like checking it for for scuffs. Sure, I'll let you do that. Okay. And unless Tall Paul and Average Madge are doing something different, I need perception checks. I'll do We're gonna roll for check. initiative, and then what's gonna happen is you will get what's called a surprise round. So. You're going to get the opportunity to do one thing before regular turn order starts. I got a 14. I got a 15. 
16. Oh, before we before we go in, I'm going to use Inspire Courage, and I'm going to use a Lingering Composition, which I do a performance check to see if I can extend it. I got an 18. Is that a critical success? Just want to say, we could have had 15 guards back us up. That is a success. It is not a critical success. Okay. So that means that for the next three rounds... I'm going to say that it takes one round to, to set up. So you'll get it on your surprise be... round and then two more rounds. This, okay. So for the next two and a half-ish rounds, you get a plus one to attack, damage, and saving rolls. So just add a plus one to like everything you do for the next for the sneak attack round and then the next two after that. Neat. And then also Harry Gary, Tall Paul, for this fight, you have plus one to your AC and saving throws against Harry Gary. They rolled real bad on initiative, so um Yeah. Awesome. Have we used saving throws at all? There was uh in the spider fight. That's right, there were some poisons and things like that. All right, so first one in surprise round order is going to be Tall Paul. Cool. You can you can hold if you want. The one person you, who disagrees about all this. You, you can hold, hold if you want to go after. Um, I, th- I think we all want to go after average Madge, right? We want to hold our action until okay. that sneak attack. Yeah, right. that, sounds, so, that sounds pretty good. Instead, it's gonna, we're going to start with average Madge. Go ahead. All right, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to hit the closest dude with a sneak attack. Okay. Which, uh, D20 plus uh, sneak? Yes. All right, so you have a plus then... seven to hit. Oh, wow. Do it good, yeah. Connor. Is that including my plus one? That is not, so plus eight to hit. God damn it, Connor. Fucking kill this bastard. Uh, at the same time, I do also want to send Xerxes after the next guy. How? I got a nine. But but Xerxes all that is planning. out there. All right, so all that remember, planning. Xerxes is out and all he does is yeah, hold, I, will, hold I will I will give you my power, I am Xerxes. I will give you gold. You can I use you um one remember in combat right now you get three actions. Right. However, because it's a surprise round, I'll let you control Xerxes which I have okay. created there next to you, and you get the one attack. So you miss wildly and get everyone's attention. Uh, <laughs> it is now Tall Paul's turn. And I would like to tell everyone this could have all been avoided. So then, it's too late now. Did Xerxes do anything? Uh, you are in control of Xerxes. Xerxes can move wherever you'd like. So when I was doing the sneak attack, Xerxes was attacking this guy that I just put him on. Uh, so you can attack. He can either attack with his jaws, right, or with his talons. He's gonna attack with his jaws for the one d six. Okay, so uh, roll a d twenty plus four for that for the okay. attack. Another nat one. Another oh one. Oh, oh god, no. Connor! Oh, fucking damn it! This could have all been avoided. <laughs> Everyone is very aware, but uh, it is Tall Paul's turn in the surprise round still. So what I'm going to do is, um, so there's that enemy directly north of me, correct? Yep. I, I use my rapier against him. Let's take this guy out. So go ahead and roll to attack. 1d20 plus 6, 20. All right, you hit. It would actually be a 21, if that matters, because of my plus one for him. Oh, that's right. Does that Let matter? Let me double but check. I don't know. It might. No. Uh, so that's still a hit. It is not a critical, though. Okay. Um, okay. And then I roll damage. 1d6 plus 2, 7. Eh, it's all right. You critically wound this guy. Nice. And we are going into the... F- oh, no. And now it's uh, now it is short Mort's turn. There's no range minimum on a, a short bow, is there? Uh, if you are in melee with someone when you do it, um, you can it triggers things, but you're okay in the surprise round. Okay, I'm going to do that then. 
And I rolled a nine. That misses. Um, <laughs> actually, wait, it uh, it actually makes it a ten. Yeah, that's but... uh, all right. <laughs> right, good work, all. So first regular <laughs> round, Harry Gary won initiative. <laughs> he etches a circle through the air and begins casting. And then a uh, sharp arrow made of light jumps from his fingers and soars across towards Tall Paul as he screams, You son of a bitch, I knew you were up to something. It strikes you in the chest. Oh no! And you take four points of damage. Oh, that's not horrible. Wait, it, it, it's guaranteed to hit him? Uh, it was a magic missile, and actually, he uses. Oh. He's going to use his full turn to cast three magic missiles. Wait, all towards mm. all, all to me. Yes. You, 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 you already, you beat me once. Give shame on my family through all three okay, yeah. cities. Minneapolis. <laughs> the, the others. The other Wichita. ones. Wichita, Artemisia. Uh, so you took four damage. You take six more damage from the other two. That oh my you. god, that's half my life, pretty much. That's more than uh, half. <laughs> All right, I should probably wait. Hold on, I should write this down. You should, please do. <laughs> I take what nine, ten, ten total. All right, I have nine left. All right, uh, and. Then, uh, next in normal turn order is uh, Average Madge. Yay! Um, I would like to have Xerxes uh, try to finish off the dude who's wounded. Okay. I am a powerful bird. I am one of your bird. One of your actions will be controlling Xerxes. <laughs> uh, what was that again? Uh, My reign reaches D20 all across plus four. D20 plus 4. The, the, the realm. 13. I will give you gold. 13 will miss, I believe. I, I, Let me double check. I will give you a little gold. Yep, that misses. God damn it. I, I won't right. give you that much gold. <laughs> well, then, the dude that's closest to me, I'm just going to attack him. Okay. Plus 8. Wow. 25! That is a critical hit. Hey. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. You have exceeded your opponent's AC by 10 or more, and that means that uh, you are going to roll double damage so you are going to roll 4d6 from your weapon Fuck plus yeah. a d6 of sneak attack because he hasn't acted yet plus the bonus damage oh my god connor so, if you roll anything south of a 10 so i swear to god five, so is it 5d6 all day uh 5d6 plus, plus three or four or yeah. something like that four four and yeah. then plus one more from my spell so five. oh 5d6 plus five if connor rolls less than a 10 19 that's not possible <laughs> uh, he is dead he is dead <laughs> and i still have another action right. don't i you have two more actions oh! <laughs> but our attack is less if we do a second attack on the same term right yeah on the yes. same turn yeah. okay okay yeah, um, you, if you take another attack, so you can move, you can attack, you can do something else. I would like to attack this dude that's this wounded dude. Okay, you'll have to take a step to move. So in Pathfinder First Edition, there was this thing called a five-foot step. If you were only moving five feet, it didn't cost you any movement. Oh. And yeah, it exists in Pathfinder Second Edition as Word. well, so it doesn't take one of your actions to only move over five so feet. So I still got two actions? Yep. Yes. All right. Uh, so let yeah let's let's attack this chump. So D, again D twenty plus uh four. It was plus eight. It's oh, plus right. three now. That's confusing the hell out of me. Because you take you take a minus five from for each subsequent attack you make. Minus five. Holy shit! That's substantial. Yeah. Twenty two. Yeah. That uh, <laughs> that will hit. And so. you get your full sneak attack on that as well. So that's three D six. Plus five. Eleven. Yeah. This guy's dead as well. Alright. <laughs> Go. And I still have one Take more action. Turn, but... You do. Uh Xerxes is going straight for Nala's face. Okay. I will give you much riches. <laughs> Xerxes was again a D twenty plus four. Do you want to land? Uh, I think that Xerxes can move but can't attack. 
I oh, give so you the meds. moving moving over there is uh, okay. Is an action for him. Okay. Do you want to shit your pants? I can. I can give. You, I can. I can give you shit your pants. Please stop. <laughs> so you, because uh, Xerxes is a bird, Xerxes has flyby attack, which means that you can combine a talon strike with a movement. Yes. Um, however, I think that it's still two actions. So, oh. Next turn, you can have like Xerxes fly by attack and move past Nala, or you can leave Xerxes there. Okay. All right. It is Tall Paul's turn. Well, I guess I'm going to move uh, towards that. Who's the guy? I'm assuming who's above Harry Gary. Uh, that's Chops. That's Chops. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to move over there. All right. How far is that? Did that work out? That's too far. Uh, all right. All right. So you can see on the map, I've I've marked where twenty five feet is for you. And you can take a second movement if you'd like. You get three actions this turn, so that's oh, one. Of them. Yeah, I I, I want to do that. I'm going to move towards right there if that's cool. All right. So you're just north of Chops. Yep. And you have one more action. I will. Uh, I guess I will attack him with my rapier. D twenty plus six. And you get an extra plus one thanks to Trevor's spell. Uh twelve plus one is thirteen. That's not great. Yeah, that misses. Oh no. And th- um, I think that's all my turn. Yep. Okay. Alright. It is Short Mort's turn. I'm gonna cast magic weapon on my bow. Okay. I think that, that costs you take... two actions. It is. Okay. And then I'm gonna um fire a bow at the Australian guy. Okay, at Chops. <laughs> Chops. Yeah. Chubs. 15. 15 will hit. Yes! All right. You said and... these guys were stronger than the spiders. You guys went in knowing that you were going to have a fight as opposed to having your rogue starting combat by being trapped in webs and having yeah, the rest of the wall. people spread around the building. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Eight points of damage. That's all right. That's all right. That's your three actions. It is yeah. Nala's turn. In a very similar act, she traces her fingers uh, in a circle and creates three shining uh, arrowheads, which fly through the air, this time... Hitting me all three times. At short more. Oh, okay, Damn. cool. Ten points of damage. Okay. Oh, shit. No, that's fine. That's what I took. You're good. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I can't take short that Short has a lot less health than Tall Paul. It's because he's so short. Next, it is Kinda. Chops' turn. <laughs> Chops is going to draw his hatchet and make two attacks against Tall Paul. Hey, Trevor, remember when I said it's, it's fine? I, I take that back. One is going to be <laughs> Jesus a Christ, 28? 22 to hit. And one is going to be a 16 to hit. Are those both damage markers? No, that's to hit. What's your AC? 18. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 18, yep. Okay. Yeah. The first one hits. The 22 hits. The 16 misses. And you are going to take some damage, though, from the first one. Five points of damage. All right. Um, That leaves me with four. Okay. And one of the rebels is going to attack Short Mort. Bad news. <laughs> See, this reminds me now a lot of the spiders. 19 to hit. That'll do it. All right. And you're going to take some damage here. Oh, no. Five points of damage. Okay. Still alive. You probably have the same amount as me, right, Mort? Two? Yeah, four. <laughs> oh, oh. That's all I got left. All right. That is the first round. Combat has fully started. Everyone's done something. Tall Paul's gonna die because he is now flanked <laughs> on two sides. Um, no, I have, a, and... I have a plan. Okay. Which way is the water flowing? <laughs> uh, the, f- the water is flowing. Um... <laughs> From the water wheels towards you and then out uh, 
to oh, the those left. are water wheels. I thought those are boats. No, those are water wheels. <laughs> okay. So it is uh, Harry Gary's turn again. No, what? Oh, no, I'm I'm dead, guys. He is going to cast a spell. That says, attack everyone except for Tall Paul. At Tall Paul. That says, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Let's see here. You know, we might have made a mistake here. I told, dude, we should have gone back to the town to get the guards. Oh my god. You guys want to bail? You want to? <laughs> <laughs> Is that even possible? You you guys just you guys are just you guys are oh my god I hate you so I, much. I do assume that that is not possible. You you guys are just the worst. I all right. He's going to. We had a half shoot. hour argument about this exact same thing. <laughs> and if we had come up with a plan, oh my Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I hate you so much. Oh, Ooh. that's so big. That number is oh, that's so... a nat twenty. Oh. That'll do it. Um, but, uh, so the, the icy ray I... that shoots from the palm of his hand uh, is going to come out and hit Tall Paul square in the face. <laughs> it's possible that you'll be okay. <laughs> I don't think so, though. <laughs> well, mm, oh no. <laughs> Seven points of damage. You are at zero and dying. Uh, and I say... Eight. Number two, Brute. Okay, it's, it's yeah, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then he is going to... So that was his first action. Oh, kill me again. No, he's going to kill me fucking again, isn't he's he? He's going to move this goddamn to the motherfucker. crack and open a secret door and go inside. I'm, st I'm, so, I'm so mad at, at <laughs> all of you right now. You did not... This could all have been avoided. He's off the board, and I'm okay with that. I'm so fucking pissed. <laughs> it is uh it is average Madge's turn. Alright, so first first things first is that um Xerxes is attacking the fuck out of Nala. Okay. Twenty That will hit. Slam dunk champion for so five D, years in three I don't know fucking what... different cities. D six plus three. Fifteen plus years three. for one. Plus city. another one. He even was friends with Condoleezza Rice. Seven. <laughs> what are you saying over there, Noel? <laughs> All right. Uh, Xerxes claws at Nala, uh, dealing some damage. You have two more actions, average match. Can I get over to um, Chops? Um, let's see, how far are you? This is even a stand-in in the Avatar movie. You are 45 feet away. It would take two movements, wow. and you would have to make an acrobatics check to go through, to go through uh, enemy people. squares, which would slow you down. So I wouldn't, be able to, I wouldn't be able to attack if I went over there. Right. I was even going to be in the second Avatar movie, but that's not even out yet. Chops has taken some damage, hasn't he? Uh, yes, Chops has taken some damage. You know who has acrobatics? I have acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> Chops is hurt. Chops is pretty hurt. Uh, you can also attack diagonally if you want to come over here next to Short Mort. You can attack diagonally I'm onto gonna this do that, guy. And on I'm going to attack this, this guy right in front of Short Mort. Straight okay. Mort. Yeah. I had lunch with Mo's Def and El Elvis Costello. This is the <laughs> dumbest thing ever. 17. This is how I die. I over that will hit. I overdose right. on antacids because of all y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slam dunk witch of ten his corpse falls into the water and is flushed away hooray Minneapolis Wichita <laughs> I, uh, I need tall Paul Artemisia <laughs> I need you to make a I had um, gold gold leaf Dumplings fed to me every every day. <laughs> gold leaf dumplings? That you couldn't even see the good. gold within it. Like, <laughs> I, it doesn't matter. I could see it in my poops. <laughs> Which is the one thing he's famous for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was gold leaf in the shit on the court <laughs> after you fucked up the fig Newton. <laughs> 
Uh, I need you to uh, roll a flat d20 for me, tall ball. I wasn't embarrassed about the fact that I did poop. It was just the quality of the poop. <laughs> Can you just roll a d20? It was the quality of the poop. <laughs> I need you to roll a d20 as you bleed out. Uh, Never games off season, colon, the quality of the word. It's also the word colon, not not, not the two dots. It's a colon. It's the emoji of a colon. There's a colon emoji? That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's just the asterisk. All right. Uh, uh, D20? Yes. <laughs> please. 11. D- nope, that's a D6. <laughs> <laughs> that exploded. That's the good news. You have exploding dice turned on. Uh, uh, it's, it's a three. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, you are now dying too. Uh, oh, and boy. it is short Mort's turn. All right. <laughs> a five foot step is a free action? Yes. Okay. As long as you don't take any other movement on your turn. Okay. So I have a spell that's range is 30 feet. Okay. And I'm 35 feet away from Tall Paul. Can we just uh, brush over that? No, Trevor, <laughs> that doesn't fucking work. Noel's the one that said it. Sorry. <laughs> All right, fine, I won't heal him. Fuck, god damn. It's no. Big deal. It it's, does work. It's really you hard. Just fucking do it. <laughs> I, I was, I, I was. I'm gonna get. Ocean, I, I was in Ocean's 14. Okay. And you could try and shoot this guy, and then take a five foot step, so that you're not like, if you kill him, you won't be in. I won't kill him. Um. You can try. Is taking a potion a free action? No, it's a, it's a, it's one of your actions. I guess, uh, yeah, I'm going to take that potion. How do I okay. do that? Uh, that will heal you 1d8. Okay. A6. All right, you heal six points. You have two actions left. Uh, do you know if soothe is one action or two? Two actions. Two, okay. So... I'm going to take a five-foot step into the water here. What? That puts uh, me... It's five feet down, and you will probably be carried away by the current. Oh, good. At least someone lives. <laughs> <laughs> it also leads to a waterfall. Oh, good. At least someone can still probably live. But it, it brings me past that set of stairs first, right? Wait a m- Oh, my God. I just figured something out. Can I talk to my compatriots still, or no? <laughs> You're dead. No. I mean, Noel can talk, but Paul can't. I mean, Paul's been muttering under his breath for like the past <laughs> 20 minutes. Alive or I dead. I just figured out everything. God, motherfucking damn it. Uh, yes, if you want to jump into the water, you can. Oh my god, I'm so mad as Noel, tall Paul. What, so what would it take to like if I did that to like grab onto something? I think it would probably be an acrobatics check to get onto the stairs. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to take my chances. So I'm I'm gonna do that, and that puts me within thirty feet of Tall Paul. You're a good coach. <laughs> I'm gonna cast. He bet, soothe. It, he bet against me. I'm gonna cast soothe on Tall Paul. Okay. And Tall Paul, that gives you a. I just need enough health. To, to talk to to talk to all y'all because I got a good game plan. You get a plus two to any mental effects, which probably won't come into play. But you get more importantly, yeah, much more importantly, you get thirteen health back. Oh, so okay, wow. so and hopefully I don't fall off a waterfall next round. That gives me a great plan, um, and I'm not next. All right. Continue. All right, Nala is going to. Well, in that case, I'm alive. I can, I can still brag to you guys about 
how he dated Michelle Kwan in her prime years. Until you until you pooped your pants, right? It's tall as tall as it was after, but thank you. So <laughs> Nala is going to that 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 was my resurgence. She gave me the confidence I never here, had before. And she she wraps her hand in the air, and a stone comes out of her pocket and rockets towards Xerxes. Not Xerxes. No, is he Xerxes. De- is he dead? Well, we're gonna find out in a sec. What is Xerxes' AC? Do you know, Connor? Uh, I don't. I'm looking at the thing. Tall paw. I used I used to know the real. Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, it has the same AC as you. Oh. So oh, wow. That's great. So, yeah, so then its AC is an 18. All right, the Xerxes dodges out of the way out of, the, of the stone and is uninjured. Let's fucking go, Xerxes. Chops hasn't noticed that Tall Paul is conscious yet and is going to... He's going to use three of his actions to run around his buddy. He has to go the long way around. And is trying to get to Madge. He's not going to make it all the way. Let's fucking go, dude. You see what I've done to the rest of your team? Let's fucking go. His other guy is going to pull out a short bow and make an attack against Madge. That's a 19 to hit. Wait, 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 wait. Nimble dodge, motherfucker. Okay, remind us what Nimble Dodge does again. Uh, a creature targets you with an attack, and you can see the attacker uh, is the trigger. Uh, and then you uh-huh. definitely dodge out of the way, gaining a plus two circumstance bonus to AC against the triggering attack. Okay. So that brings your AC to 20 for that attack? Yes, it does. You dodge out of the way of his arrow. Uh, and that means that it is Madge's turn. Let's fucking go. Gonna light you on fire. Oh, actually, at the start of the turn, um, before you go, Shortmort is carried 10 feet down the stream. Okay. (laughs) Okay, now go ahead. All right, I'm going to go straight for fucking chops over here. Oh. 10 does not hit. Oh. (laughs) And if I do, if I try to attack him again, it'll be plus two? Yep. You still have a chance, but... It's not as good. Or I could try to intimidate him. Yeah, you can do that if you'd like. I would like to intimidate him so hard that he jumps into the water. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to do that. So it's a d20 plus 5. Wait, you want him to jump in, into the water with the only other person, our friend, who is also in the water? No, I just want him, because if he jumps in where he is, he's going to get carried. He doesn't have a set of stairs. So he's going to get carried uh, away and, oh, and die okay, via waterfall. I can see that. Yeah. Intimidate. Okay, well, I only rolled 10, so I don't think it works. All right, yeah, he, he laughs in your face. It is Paul's <laughs> turn. Hey, Connor. Hey. Why don't you tell your friend Xerxes to go back into town and to request reinforcements? Might be too late for that. I think it's, I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God, you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, how long, would it, how long would it take for them to get here? Yeah. A couple minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes? But at which point the fight will be over. Yeah. I used to own so much stock in Enron. <laughs> Alright, I attack the guy to the west of me. Okay, are you going to stand up first? Yeah. I... Yeah. No. Or can you attack from the ground? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Well, what's the negative? It's probably not as strong as me standing up, right? Uh, It'll raise his AC a little bit because the angle's weird. Is there any benefit to not standing up first? So standing up costs a turn and may trigger an attack of opportunity. Oh. Oh, so I guess I'll just stand up and just fucking attack. Uh, one turn and then two turns. Okay. 19. Oh, yeah. That hits. Cool. D6 plus two. There it is. It's a three. <laughs> okay. He, uh, he <laughs> oh, gets... don't say it like that. <laughs> it's something. He gets hurt and is shocked to discover that you're there. You have one action left. Stab him. Yeah. Uh, 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 do I have any special moves? I'll just attack him again. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to take a minus five, so it's a d20 plus one. Yikes. All right. Let's get that natural. Still possible. Yeah. 
19. Hey! hey 19. Battle hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. It's still the same D6 plus 2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can kill him right here. All right, what do I need? Normally I wouldn't tell you, but uh, you need a 5. Oh, all right, let's go. No, <laughs> I got a three. <laughs> another, All right, another he's one. still up. It is Short Mort's turn. All right. I want to grab these stairs that I am being pulled past. Okay, make an acrobatics check. First, I'm going to cast Guidance on myself. Okay. To give me a plus one on this roll. Oh, boy, it is a 23. You got oh, it. Oh, thank God. Let's go. <laughs> That's two of your actions. You have one left. I am going to fire yep. a bow at the guy on the stairs here. That is a 10. That will miss. No. That is my turn. All right. It is Nala's turn. All right. She is going to spend... Two actions, uh, again, pulling a, a stone up, and she's going to shoot it at Tall Paul. And she's going to say, you betrayers! You, you walked in here under the guise of peace! Don't, don't tell me I'm a betrayer. I was the spokesperson for Honeycomb Cereal. You, 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 <laughs> you, 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 bitch. <laughs> All right, it's a 15 to hit. What is your AC, Paul? 18. All right, so that misses, and she's got one action left. She's actually going to move further away next to the secret door. Uh, it is Chop's turn, and he's just going to go at Madge three times with his hatchet. 13 to hit, a 9 to hit, and like a 10 to hit. Yes! So... And he's going to miss all three times. To end the inning, that is a strikeout. Fucking. <laughs> all right. Let's go. I'm tiny. Y'all can't hit me. We've got two attacks against Mort. Oh, no. Bad. Not good. With a short sword. This will probably, probably do it, and we don't have any way to heal. So. <laughs> all right. So the first one is going to be a 22 to hit. That'll hit. And the second one, a 10 to hit. That'll miss. That will not. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I'm at eight. Four points of damage. Oof. Oh, boy. It's not bad. And now three attacks against Paul. All right, so that's an eight, a 16, and a negative five. All <laughs> fucking miss. That's amazing. Miss, miss, miss. That means it's Madge's turn. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna Finish stab him. the shit out of fucking chops. So going at chops. Yep. What the fucking shit, cock dick whore oh, ass punch. Ten misses. <laughs> Let's fucking do it again. D twenty now plus three. Twenty three. That's a nat hey. twenty. Right that there. is a nat twenty. That is a critical hit. Yes. Uh, so you're gonna get four d six plus four. Oh, this bitch is. Dead. Wow. Oh, he dead. Yeah. He is indeed dead. Uh, and you have one action left. Please help me. <laughs> so if I were to attack this guy, that's fucking with... What would my thing be? Just a regular... Minus one. Minus one. Can I intimidate him? Uh, yeah, you can try and intimidate him if you'd like. I would like to do that. All right. D20 Roll an intimidate check. 23 fucking screaming in his face after killing four dudes. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, Madge is kind of crushing it <laughs> on this one. And uh, yeah, he he is shaking in his boots. That's awesome. It is going to be tall Paul's turn. So what is um, the effect of that, though, now that he's like scared? Anytime he rolls a d20, he's taking a minus one to it as a result. Fuck yeah. Oh. At the end of his turn, he'll his he'll frightness will decrease by one, but you can stack them up. Fuck yeah. Um. All right. I'll just do a good old fashioned uh, stab and jab. Okay. Jab and stab. D twenty plus six, fifteen. That doesn't sound uh, good. That will not hit. Can what? I do it again? Really? Yep. Uh, except it's gonna be plus one this time. 
D20 plus one. Oh my god, you guys, I should have just shoved him into the thing. Do it now. You can shove him now. That doesn't really, I have, it doesn't. Oh. So the shove is a kind of attack, so you're still going to take the minus ten. Oh shit. So you can, you can attack again at a minus four. Uh, he's just so close to being dead. I mean, you can, you know. He just doesn't even know I was slam dunk champion. 1985 to 1989. <laughs> I was a spokesperson for Those are right. different years. Paul never got a chance to find out if anybody recognizes him. No, no, no. You, you, you recognized him for shitting his pants, just not for tunking. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I was the spokesperson for for gilding the floor. <laughs> <laughs> gilding the floor. God, I love that his poop has <laughs> gold in it. I, uh... I was a spokesperson for Fruitopia. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do a good old, good old number three Shankarooski again. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> so it's a minus four to hit. So that a nat twenty would be pretty much the only way you could hit him, but it's a possibility. All right. Ten. Okay. Short Mort's turn. Just fire a crossbow bolt at this guy directly in front of me. Okay. It's an 18. 18 will hit. I can kill this dude. And that will be eight points of damage. He sees that you're shooting at him in melee and begins to bring up his sword. But before he can, your arrow sticks into his throat and he falls over dead. Let's yeah. go. One action down, two to go. I am going to fire a crossbow at the guy right next to Tall Paul. Thank uh, you. Oh, my God. Oh my god, guys. So it's a plus. So that makes it a 16. 16. 16 hits. Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. And that is 10 points of damage! He did. And as he goes to swing his sword at Paul, oh, he falls over dead yes, as well. Yes, my lord and savior, short <laughs> mort. <laughs> Seeing that all of her comrades are defeated, Nala drops to her knees and raises her hands and says, I surrender. I give. You are quite the strike team. We say, where the hell did Harry Gary go? Yeah, where did Harry Gary go? This is a secret passage that leads straight to the throne room. Fuck, oh. so he's been there this whole time? Hey guys, remember how I made that half hour stink about having guards come to our help? <laughs> it was a good idea not to do that. Well, he had he still had all the guards that were in the palace already. Yeah, he's like surrounded by guards. But either way, we should like take off down this secret hallway after Harry Gary. Okay. As we uh as we pass by Nala, can I just like fucking bonk her on the head to knock her out? I'll I'll say that you can tie her up and bring her with you if you want. Okay. Roll, roll roll your D20 for a critical bonk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> critical bonk. <laughs> So as you as you move through these twisting, turning stairs, there is you notice uh, oh, going pa past that there's a skeleton, like a dead body, okay. uh, that is over here. But uh, you're probably not going to stop to take a look at it. So you move up and through, and emerge on the other side of a secret door in the throne room to find Harry Gary in chains. Ah. Yeah. I shoot a crossbow at him. What? <laughs> I shoot a crossbow at him. All right, roll to hit. 18. That will hit. 10 points of damage. Uh, it, uh, it slams into his shoulder, and he is still alive. Good, 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 good. As guards start to move towards you. Yeah, I, I, I move around the guards. No, can we, I know, guys, I know, guys, we're about I know, to get arrested. Don't care. <laughs> I, I know Gary is injured. He is on the floor writhing in pain from, from Short Mort's previous crossbow bolts. Tell me you're going to shit on his face. I, shit on his face. I pull down my pants and I. I, I, I you I, killed I, him. I am, I, am, I am reading to him my diet of the last 48 hours, none of which is fiber, most of which is, is, is foil gold. And I take the most liquidiest, nastiest dookie this epic dump. From, from his nape to his neck and, and beyond that onto his face. And I say, sorry, bud. 
<laughs> Short oh, Martin God. will then come in and be like, he meant to say, eat shit and die. <laughs> nah. And I come back into the picture and say, die. Nah, I, mean nah, I, I would like to turn to King a- Adrian and say, I'm, I'm not with these guys, but you're welcome for killing, <laughs> killing the bad guys. <laughs> he's, he's retching in the corner. As he was like, I was gonna thank you, but bleh, bleh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I ate mostly alcohol and fast food, so sorry. It's gonna be a, it's a yeah. spicy one right there. That is. Uh... Can, you, can you can you let the game master finish the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. I'm sorry. With the revolution stopped, a few days later, Harry, Gary, and Nala are in prison. And the the king is like you. Well, you certainly you guys are weird. But, uh, I thank you. I thank you very much. And hands you a satchel for uh, that contains thirty gold. And he says, "Now get the hell out of my kingdom, please. Just get out. Leave." And we give nothing to Trevor because he will gamble it all away. No, you you owe me. Each of you still owe me one gold because there were. More than seven and a half people in that room. You can have one gold, you piece of shit. I, 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 won't, yeah. I won't give you the gold. Yeah. It's because I didn't shake on it. <laughs> As you leave town with uh, Venture Captain Smine, he says, Well, here's, uh, here's your payment for the job. Hands you a, a satchel with 15 gold in it and says, Next, uh, we need to head west towards Pytax to figure out what happened uh, to our last lost pathfinders but uh we'll save that for the next adventure of the never games plays pathfinder second edition <laughs> and we say Woo! we accept just let us shower first <laughs> all right guys that was it that was yeah. pathfinder second edition <laughs> that was great that was great we should not have survived we should not have survived that no Excuse we've dead no, so many have. times excuse me i'm a fucking beast yeah, you were fine. Tall Paul literally died twice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for going through this slog with us for the Never Games off season. Uh, Never Games plays Pathfinder Second Edition. If you've enjoyed this, you can follow us anywhere you get great podcasts you can give us a like you can subscribe it's the way that we get this content out to more people it's hugely important you can also find us anywhere that you get your social media be it facebook instagram twitter and that's going to be the underscore never underscore games uh to get that sweet content outside of our weekly episodes um, you can also reach out to us at, by email at hello at thenevergames.com. Or if you want to call us and leave us a message, you can do that at our phone number. That's 406 Games 24, 406 426 3724. We also have a Patreon. If you really enjoy our content, you can give us as little as $1 a month. We'll give you a shout out on air when you sign up. You'll also get your NFT, Never Fungible Token, to be the official owner of the episode of your choice that hasn't been claimed yet. $3 and up, you'll get access to our bonus content, which includes a dumbed down D&D that we did earlier this season, the curious case of the Connor kidnapping caper. And all the money from our Patreon goes towards buying pierogies with gold flakes in them. We're really curious what that's yeah. like in real life. There and is. if you want to get, nom, 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 nom. if you want to get more <laughs> of this information, find our past episodes, interact with friends and uh, other listeners in the comments. You can go to our website. That's thenevergames.com where you'll also find all of the music that was done in today and every other episode uh, of this show. It's by a band called Good Damn It. That's me on the drums and Connor on everything else. <laughs> Thank you for listening to another episode of The Never Games. And we will be back. If you miss all of our games, we will be back next week for the starts of, I can't believe what I'm saying, but our third miraculous season. This has been the Never Games. Thank you very much for listening. My name has been and will always be Noel McGinnis. 
I am Trevor Kelly, at least for now. My name is Tom O'Brien, as far as you know. I'm Connor Provost. Good night, Christopher. And this has been the Never Games Do We Play Games. Almost critical game. Thank you very much for listening. Good night. This has been a stick of our students.